Welcome to the Carolina Trade Winds Local Voices Program. I'm your host, Ken Morgan, and today we have Adrian Gray on our show. Adrian is an AmeriCorps coordinator who is preparing the River City Community Development 16th Annual Juneteenth Festival. Hi, Adrian. Hi, how you doing? Doing good. Um, look at the Juneteenth Festival this year. It's taking place on uh, Monday, June 19th from 5.30 to 8.30 at the Sheep Harney Elementary School in Elizabeth City. Uh, Adrian, can you tell us a little bit about the history of Juneteenth? Sure. Uh, Juneteenth is also known as Freedom Day. It's a holiday that commemorates the June 19th, 1865 announcement of the abolition of slavery in Texas and more generally, the emancipation of African-American slaves throughout the Confederate South. Why are we still celebrating in, uh, in 2017? Um, we're still celebrating Juneteenth because it is very important for this generation and generations after us to be able to be knowledgeable about uh, history in itself and being able to identify with all types of holidays such as this that mean so much, not just to African-American history, but in history as a whole. Mm-hmm. Uh, how, do, how do you think it's going to feel like to, to read the... Uh Emancipation Proclamation. Um, I'm very honored. Um, it's, it's very, very much an honor for me because learning about Juneteenth as I have growing up and then being able to deliver this Emancipation Proclamation is just something that I've always wanted to do, even in high school and middle school, so to be able to do it uh, for the community and be able to be a, set an example for my peers that you can be a stepping stone for them. It really does mean a lot. That's really interesting. Uh, how did you, how'd you become involved in this program? Um, how I became involved is I am the chairperson for the Juneteenth Festival. So I'm the one that co- helps coordinate all of the events that will happen, the individual that is on the ground with my uh, committee team, just making sure that the event goes smoothly and it's entertaining for the community and also making sure that the community leaves with a piece of knowledge that they can spread to even more individuals that might not have had the opportunity to attend. How has this grown over the years? Um, It's grown rapidly. Uh, This is our 16th annual festival. Our president and CEO, Ms. Lenore Jarvis Mackey, uh, saw a need and decided that Juneteenth in Elizabeth City needed to be brought attention to. So over the years, it started becoming a festival and having vendors and entertainment. And it's just grown to the to the point now that it's a household name festival that individuals look for every uh, June. Is the church involved in this? Yes, uh, the community churches are involved. Um, they have they play the role of being able to let their congregations know what we have going on, and we also have church performances that will be performing at Juneteenth this year. So they are very engaged with our Juneteenth process and being able to be the voice for us to let their congregation know. I mean, are, are there going to be different kinds of entertainment? Um, what, what, what's going to be on tap? Um, we are going to have a list of entertainment. Uh, this year we are actually going to have Mr. Gordon Dove perform. Uh, we have the Elizabeth City Community Choir. We have the uh, Cara Praise dance team from the Mount of Elizabeth City. We have the Little Divas to uh, be representation for the young people. We have the Pink Pearls for the young people. We have uh, Joy for, Joyful for Him. Um, and then we also have a fo- symposium that we're doing on American freedom then and now that will be co-facilitated by the Unity Group and the Hope Group. So we have a lot of great entertainment and conversation starter pieces for the uh, attendees of the program. Isn't this normally held in Waterfront Park? Yes, uh the festival is typically held at the Waterfront Park, but because of the unpredictable weather, we wanted to be sure that the community would still be able to enjoy Juneteenth, so Mm -hmm. we decided to take it to an indoor setting, so then they will be able to still enjoy the overall feel of Juneteenth, but we'll also be able to know that once the weather breaks next year, that we'll be able to have the back at the waterfront, and the waterfront will have its same spunk that it's always had. What's your role in River City Community Development Corporation? Um, I am the AmeriCorps coordinator for River City Community Development Corporation. Um, what that means is in one year, I recruit and enroll about 30 young people to be able to go out and do acts of community service. So AmeriCorps is a national active service where the young people come in and in one year they do about 450 hours of community service and in return AmeriCorps gives them an education award that they can use for trade school or community college or even four-year school. But the benefit about the program is that it's good for seven years, the education award. So it gives the young person an opportunity to be able to make a decision about going to school 
um, within that time frame, and they're not rushed to use the money. That's really interesting. Um, you know, a lot of people hear about River City uh, Community Development, and uh, but a lot of folks don't know what it is. Uh, can you tell us what else do they do? Uh, what else our organization does? We do economic development. We also do housing counseling, and then we have our youth development. So with economic development, we have a business incubator in Elizabeth City. We also have our Renaissance Commons, which is for um, senior citizens that um, need housing. And then we also have our housing counseling, where we help people that are, are going to have their home foreclosed so then they can be able to have their home saved. And we also do the youth development, which is for 16 to 24-year-olds, which is our youth build program. It helps individuals that either have a high school diploma or we also help individuals achieve their GED. So those are the programs that uh, River City offers within our community. How does it help them? I and what changes have you noticed uh, after they go through the program? Uh, we notice an entire transformation change of our opportunity youth. Um, they come into our program and they are seeking ways to be able to go out into society and be effective uh, society changers. So when they come into our program, they come in with an idea, and we turn that the idea into a reality. So if they want to come in and be uh, construction workers, if they want to be CNAs, if they want to learn how to do uh, landscape and carpentry, we build around what they want to do, and they also help them find jobs to be able to fit their niche to make sure that when they get into, onto the job that they want, they already have the skills available. So a lot of our young people, when they go to their jobs, they've been equipped from the community service, from the educational component, from uh, even the uh, leadership and development component, that they're prepared to be on the job and be an effective worker. Well, if you, say if I knew somebody that could benefit from this program, uh, how would I refer them? Uh, you could refer them to our River City Youth Build, which is located on 303 West Erringhouse Street in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, which is right next to the Taco Bell. Or you can also refer them to our 501 East Main Street, Elizabeth City, North Carolina, which is located downtown. So those are the two places that someone would be interested to sign up for such a young person, if somebody wanted to mentor, if they would just want to get in contact with us to be able to even tell us of the young person they know. Those are the two ways to do that. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you, on this Juneteenth celebration, uh, if anybody wants to know anything more about it, how they get in touch with you? Um, how they can get in contact with me, they can uh, either stop by our two locations, which is the 303 West Erringhouse Street or the 501 East Main Street, or they can send me an email at a g r a y at river city cdc one word dot org. So they can reach out that way to get more information if they would like to be able to learn about more about Juneteenth before the event comes. Well, it's great having you on the program. It sounds like a, a really fun time to have out there. And, uh, and folks, if they don't have anything to do, just uh, head on out there on June nineteenth from five thirty to eight thirty at the Sheep Harney Elementary School and uh, check it out. Thanks for being on the program, Adrian. No problem. Thank you for having me, and I look forward to seeing you all at Juneteenth 2017. Thank you.